Teresa here to walk the call and start up here, Gina. Uh, Jim, talk about the adversity after giving up 25 straight in the second and third quarters and be able to respond to those turnovers in the fourth quarter to get the momentum back in your favor. Yeah, right. Um, don't have all the all the stats, you know, at uh, my fingertips right now. But uh, what I do know is you just keep fighting, and uh, there was a big momentum swing there. Um, third quarter, they uh, they made some plays, um, and we did turn it over, and uh, our guys rose to the challenge, and uh, they were they were they were tested mightily, and uh, and uh, they did a great job, didn't flinch, kept playing, kept fighting. Jim, what went into the decision to go for it on fourth down both times in the fourth quarter? <clears throat> well, the first one we were up by three, and a field goal at that point uh, would have still kept it a one-score game. A touchdown would have beat us. So uh, wanted to give our offense a chance to uh, make it a two-score game. Had driven the ball uh, down the field and and uh, lost a game once like that in my past. And uh, by when I did kick the field goal, so... Uh, this time, uh, felt like we put the ball in Shea Patterson's hands. Um, you know, he is tenacious uh, in those kind of situations, in those kind of big moments, and and felt uh, felt really good that he could he could pick it up for us. Um, the uh, the offense was hungry to do it, and um, so made the decision to to go for it on that fourth down. And uh, the guys came through. Shea Patterson had a had a had a great game. Um, Again, I don't know what all the statistics and the numbers are, but uh, you know, it was a that was tough throwing the ball today, and it came up with the big throws. Uh, he's got a very strong arm, throws a very tight spiral, and and uh, made some big plays when we needed. Also, felt our ground game. Uh, Hassan Haskins uh, ran the ball extremely well. So did uh, Zach Charbonnet. True Wilson had some some fine runs. I felt our offensive line uh, gelling up front. And uh, defensively, you know, we were in their backfield a lot. Um, a lot of sacks, a lot of tackles for loss, uh, PBUs, uh, Uche, uh, five, three sacks and two, two TFLs. Uh, Cam McGrone, huge play in the game. That, uh, to shed the block, you know, get the quarterback and punch it out, uh, you know, all in the same down uh, and create that turnover was, was huge for us. Um, Mike Dane, I thought, had a really, really good football game as well. Um, a lot of guys. And then you look to the special teams, and, and uh, Jordan Glasgow makes the big play for us, stretching out on the, on the block punt. That was huge. And he was around the ball all day. So uh, a lot of guys uh, played extremely well. A lot of guys toughed it up. Uh, Donovan, Peoples-Jones uh, comes back and makes the big uh, touchdown reception. And Nick Eubanks as well. Really good game for Nick. Uh, several several moments like that in the game. Just proud of our guys. When was that time that you passed the field goal, or that you took the field goal? Ah, oh, it's just in my past. <laughs> <laughs> see, if you, see if you can figure it out. <laughs> Back right, uh, Jim Shasa, the Illinois made some adjustments that he kept causing that frustration in the third quarter. Did you notice any adjustments from now? And so, yeah, we were. I mean, there was uh, in the running game. Uh, you know, they, they, they made a nice adjustment with their uh, defensive end, and we made a counter adjustment uh, later in the ball game that uh, really paid off for us. They were they were spiking their end hard and, and uh, got us for got us for a few. But uh, then I thought Josh and and Ed and, and the coaches did a did a nice job countering that, and and then we were able to get outside again. Chris, for some big runs. Hassan had some early success and he went back to the late. What's the rotation there and how does that work? Is it based on different plays or hot hand or, or how are you doing that with the backs? Yeah, just uh, the way we've been doing it. Uh, Zach and and um, and True and Hassan were uh, you know, slated to get the most carries. Christian got in there. Um, and then, um, yeah, Hassan was, was running the ball so well that uh, – uh, you know, was really feeding them there at the end, and it paid off. Nick? You mentioned uh, the, their, their adjustment they made before the adjustment you guys made. Really well. Was there a concerted effort to, to put the ball in Chase's hands in terms of the run game and get a pull there before on that drive? 
then you call this number. Do you guys want to get more involved in the rugby game? Is that something you should Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, it was, it was really, it was necessary. Uh, defensive end was spiking, it was a hard slant, and uh, you know it, uh, it was it enabled us to get the get the ball in Shea's hands and uh, made a couple big big plays for us. Ran hard, protected the ball, um, and then uh, a couple of those runs with with Hassan as well uh, at the end, getting the ball in the perimeter. Steve, Steve, on the play where Carlo Kemp got the ball. Out yeah. Scoring touchdown. What was your view of that play? Talk about just how huge it was, considering when it, when it happened. Uh, it was. Uh, it happened pretty quick. I, I think. Um, I don't know exactly. I really don't. I think uh, Mike Dana punched it out, uh, caused the fumble. Carlo uh, picked it off in midair, and then uh, did his best to get it in the end zone. And uh, huge, huge, uh, huge play of the game uh, enabled us to get the the one yard quarterback sneak on the. Next down, and you know, put the game out of reach. Metal there, Coach. Uh, there have been some rumbles about the offense this year. I'm wondering what grade would you give your overall offense today? I and mean, do you think it's coming together the way you want it to at this point in the year? It was. Uh, it was 42 points. Hard work and 42 points. Um, I think our team was tested extremely. Uh, uh, it was tested a lot. Um, it was a it was a heck of a challenge. It was it was um, you know a couple of, especially going into the win was it was tough throwing the ball and uh, and our running game really rose to the occasion and and I think Shea did a did a really good job uh, you know throwing the ball uh, into the wind against it. Um, Ronnie Bell uh, made the huge catch too and, and run after run after catch. So uh, yeah, there was a. A lot of a lot of big plays, a lot of you know, a lot of good play. A um, couple fumbles that uh, wouldn't have liked to have seen, but uh, you know that. You know, outside of that, I think our I think our offense was playing pretty darn good. Hey, Blake, you know, I was just going to ask about the fumbles. And there were some un- uncharacteristic penalties on the defense in that third quarter too. I mean, how do you? I know we talked about you know, just keep going back to practice and fix it, but is it becoming a, a concern? The fumbles are not going away. Uh, yeah, but it was a. Uh, I got to look at him. I know I, I saw the one with, was, you know, Zach as he was going down, just but maybe a foot off the ground, got got hit from the side, and uh, you know, keep coaching it, keep uh, keep learning. I mean, uh, uh, but he's he's been uh, for you know true freshman running back. I mean, I got to say that uh, I mean that's that's a tough kid who who's handled uh, some pretty big shots. And that and that drive was was shaping up. I said, as we came off the goal line, I mean, where we were was the the one foot line. I mean, I think the edge of the ball was as close to the goal line as I've ever seen it, the back end of it. And, and that was that was starting to shape up like could have been the longest drive in Michigan football history. Uh, got it all the way to their 40 yard line, and, um, and then then we did get the ball back and and we were able to score on the next possession. So. Um, that uh, it happens, but you know, we gotta keep make keep we'll keep making an emphasis on it. I know our backs are, you know, it's his biggest emphasis that they have. We got time for a couple more questions before we get some players in here, Chris. It seems like Jalen Mayfield's playing with more aggression each week, and uh, even again today. Can you just talk about what you've seen from him? Uh, yeah, Jalen uh, playing really well. Make a I have a good feeling that our offensive line uh, really played well and, and was assignment sound. I don't think there was a lot of error in there. Um, we were really down to, I mean, the tight end, uh, tight end group, both uh, Nick Eubanks and, and Luke Schoonmaker, uh, you know, had to do the entire duty today and uh, thought they fared it really well. Uh, ben Mason had some critical key blocks as, uh, as well, but, um, yeah, they. Um, I think, you know, good. A good character builder for the team. Uh, that uh, you know, when the adversity did hit, and we're, there were the fumbles, and um, you know, our guys didn't flinch. You know, this uh, saw some real growth in that area uh, with our team today, and very proud of that. Nick, you mentioned uh, keep coaching the fumbles. That's all you can do, really, in that situation. I wonder how do you how do you coach that out of guys? Sometimes it's a younger guy. How do you? 
how you go about doing it, it's nine now, loss. I know you put in a big emphasis, but how exactly do you guys get rid of that stuff? Yeah. Um, coaching ball security, uh, all the way to the all the way to the ground and, and you know, through the whistle and the echo of the whistle and beyond. Uh, you know, the thing is that I'm proud of as a team is that, you know, there wasn't this here we go again, you know, uh, you know, they rose up and uh, and got a few fumbles of our own. Uh, you know, from where I was standing we we created some of our own. No, I trust and believe in our team, and, uh, and we saw the evidence uh, today. So, uh, very, very proud of that fact, and and our guys. I mean, uh, I think they've, I think there's a callus that's been built there, and a and a toughness that that has, uh, you know, been born out of that, and and that's a that bodes well for our team. I thought, I mean, I thought. The offense was effective today. Um, they uh, they played played very well. Uh, kind of almost gone through about every series of the game here, and, and uh, the offense was picking up first downs, moving the ball, um, scoring in the red zone. The one we didn't, uh, you know, we had the penalty. Um, so pleased with the way the offense played. Thought they uh, performed extremely well. Thought I go back through it. I mean, why the quarterback's really good. You know, he's a really good player. Uh, he makes big time plays. Uh, he's a he's great under pressure. Uh, makes the throws, makes the runs, and uh, and our running backs stepped up. Both Zach Charbonnet and and Hassan Haskins went for over 100 yards. Our offensive line uh, thought they blocked, sustained, uh, very little mental error, and the tight end and and the receiver group made big catches. Put the ball away, got yards after catch. Ronnie Bell, Donovan Peoples Jones, um, Luke Schoonmaker, and, and Nick Eubanks. Tariq Black thought he played uh, very effective. So uh, I thought those guys uh, rose to the challenge today. Last question, Angelique. Jimmy had some guys missing today Nico, Lerner, yeah. and Nico, the back. What is their status? And, uh, what do you mean? Uh, just, uh, they weren't. Uh, Gave it a go and, and uh, weren't able to play today. Um, in case uh, Quiddy and uh, and Sean, um, Nico yeah, Nico and Levert were uh, weren't able to make the trip. Uh, weren't ready to play. weren't uh, held them out for this game. Not somebody that's going to hold them out for next week. I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. But I don't know for sure. We'll see how we came out of this game. Uh, Find out that when we find it out. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.